Now, we're faced with a serious economic crisis as a country, and we all feel it. We know what's going on. It impacts our pockets, our kitchen, our personal economy. So we're living the economic situation that we find ourselves in as a country. It was widely suggested that Ghana should seek an IMF program. Well, we are there now. Government has sought an IMF bailout. In fact, before the decision to go for an IMF program, the Institute of Economic Affairs had indicated that if government was prepared to take the tough and necessary decisions, they would have avoided going to the IMF. That did not happen. We're there now. What is the way forward? How is this IMF program going to change the economic situation that we find ourselves in as a country? I have here the Director of Research at the Institute of Economic Affairs, IEA, Dr. John Wache. Thank you so much, sir. So Thank, you. Us. Thank you. Uh, despite the suggestions that you made, well, government did not give consideration to it. We are the IMF now. What's your take on this decision to go to the IMF and any benefits that will accrue to us as a country? Well, um, I will not say that you know, government did not uh, heed to our suggestions. Uh, because you remember that uh, government initiated measures, especially to cut down expenditure you know, across, across board, the MMTAs, uh, ministers, uh, government appointees, and so on. So they took certain, certain measures. But of course, they did not go you know, far enough. Uh, we were in a, as you say, serious financial crisis, economic and financial crisis. Um, we were, well, COVID, because of COVID, we have, we have made a lot of expenditures. Mm -hmm. um, and then COVID, because of COVID also, our revenues were not getting as much revenues as uh, we used to get because of the slack in economic activity and so on. And therefore, the budget gap has widened and we had to be doing a lot of borrowing, you know. So that put us in a very bad, you know, you know situation. Meanwhile, the government had accumulated a lot of payment arrears, even domestically. Um, now, on the international scene, um, well, you also remember that there was a budget stalemate in Parliament, you know, in, in, in terms of relating to the passage of the ELA. Okay, this had caused some kind of anxiety in the international, you know, market. So we had the investors sort of disinvesting from our, our bonds. Meanwhile, our access to the international capital had also somehow been restricted. Mm -hmm. So the government finds itself in a situation whereby you know, it was seriously you know, cash-strapped. Uh, and then, of course, they have more information on the economy. And therefore, that is why it looks like they did a, a U-turn. They have said they were not going. But somehow, they were forced to go because it looks like the markets were looking for a signal which they themselves were not providing. And they, so they wanted it, their signal to be provided by the IMF. That's 